Afternoon all, hope you're doing well and that you're still washing your hands. It's time for another trip out. I'm not sure which day of isolation it is, but I thought I'd go out again because the sky is looking very nice. And these walks are good because you end up finding places that you weren't sure were that close to you. And they tend to be beauty spots, so let's go. If anything, this is pretty much a video of me trying to get to Cornwall, or at least traveling as close to Cornwall as I can before I realize that I can't go much further or someone says, you know what, you shouldn't be out this long. Now granted, this, this area is not as nice, but we will get there. We will get there and you will appreciate it as much as you'll appreciate these lovely blue benches right there. Here's a really interesting statistic for you. Since the lockdown has come into place and non-essential travel has been discouraged. The number of cars on the road in this county has decreased by 68%. Because I work for BBC Radio Devon, I sometimes have to do travel shifts where I observe the traffic that's going on across the county and then I report on it on the programs that are being broadcast. And the bulletins are so quiet at the moment because everyone's staying indoors and they should be. Part of the bulletin is pretty much to say that you shouldn't be going out for anything that is not essential. More blue benches. Honestly. Oh, a whole blue area. It's remarkable. There's a biker on what is obviously an essential journey. I'm sure he's off to do very important things. By the way, if you haven't, then don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like the video as well because I'm pumping out content like I've never pumped it before. And that means that if you don't subscribe and get involved, then you'll miss out on what's coming. Along here is the street that I grew up in. As a wee little boy, there's the hairdressers I used to use. Creative cuts. But now, obviously, I don't need a creative cut because there is naught to cut. Although, I will need to do my own at some point because I'm getting little sprouting hairs coming out of my head and it looks very strange. <laughs> Look at all these cars, all these essential journeys. Oh my word. Just FYI, we are going to be going to the Tamar Bridge, which is the big bridge, obviously, that connects Plymouth to Cornwall. Crossing over because there is a couple there with a the dog and I don't want to scare them off. And I nearly died. Someone's hanging up their washing. It is the right weather to do this. Good on you. This is Mutley Plain. This is the next little area along from where I live. So if you're looking to stalk me, you could probably find out where I live on, a, on Google Maps. Please don't come and break into my home. That would not be fun. Another hairdressers that are closed. Another place that I can no longer go to because I need a haircut. And there's another one. There's another place I can't go to. This looks hopeful. You can't see over this little hill here. And I have a feeling this could be it. And folks, there is the Tamar Bridge. I'm gonna try and get across. Oh, hopefully the footpath is actually open, else I'm gonna be kind of stuck. Although, because there is no unauthorized access there, doesn't mean we can't walk around. Also, dismount your bike, for goodness sake. I'm all right. I just got my feet. Can't dismount those. Out of everything in the world, the thing that scares me the most is heights. And this is pretty high, I don't like it. Oh my goodness. I'm so protected as well. I have no reason to be scared, but I am. And every time a bus goes across or a lorry goes across, the bridge shakes slightly, and that's the most unnerving thing ever, especially when I'm not fond of heights. Just appreciate that for a second. I'm not going to go too close, so what I'll do is I'll zoom in, it'll make it look like I'm closer. I mean, here I am, right next to it, when in all reality I'm actually quite a distance from it. I'm so happy, I can't believe I'm actually going across, it's really, really cool. I don't think... I've ever walked across this bridge before. Ladies and gentlemen, there it is, Cornwall. I am actually about to cross the border into Cornwall. Here it is. Here is the border of Cornwall. I'm gonna do it. 
da, 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 da. I'm now in Cornwall. I must now speak a different language and wave a different flag. I'm now in an entirely different county. Just like that. Just like that. It's almost magic. This is a very long bridge and my legs are starting to wake. We actually got to Cornwall and that's amazing. <laughs> We're actually in Cornwall. Yay! Woo! Oh my goodness. Just look at that. That's phenomenal, isn't it? You can see for miles. We're all going on a isolation walk. No more walking than one hour. One daily walk or you'll be thrown in jail. Also, massive shout out for this area. I mean, no one, no one built that, but look at it. It's beautiful, beautiful. It's weird, but this place looks a bit like some areas in Wales that I've been to. And then that truck comes and ruins it. Here's a fun fact, if you didn't know, uh, Cornish people use, in some places, a different language. Silver Street apparently means Strat Argans, but I'm probably, I'd probably just butchered that pronunciation. Here we go, down the steps. Wow, just look at that. That's unreal. This is kind of scary. Just walking out to sea. Walking out to see the sea. Ha, <laughs> fantastic. Swan. Come on, come back, boy. Okay, don't come back then. That's fine. I'm literally separated from Plymouth by this massive bridge, and it's pretty incredible. Wow. The sea's just moving so nicely. And if I were to happen to fall in, I know I'd be okay. I'd be all right, I got it. Got all the boats as well. All the little fishing boats. I could technically go down there, but I'm not dumb and I'm not gonna risk it because I don't have a boat to get onto and I don't fancy falling into that water. Well, this is Cornwall. Cornwall in lockdown is just as eerie. All the pubs all closed up. The Union Jack pub completely closed. Nothing to see here. But how marvelous is that? My goodness. <laughs> well, there you go. Fishing boats. Plymouth. Everything you need. Just walking out onto here. I mean, the view here is just outstanding, isn't it? It's really outstanding. You, you could come here and just chill for hours, just sit and enjoy the sights. The sun just glistening on the, on the river makes everything look like a picture. It's gorgeous, really, really gorgeous. Another swan. <laughs> That's probably the same swan. Hello, swan. Well, that concludes the video. Thank you so much for watching. I know it's a bit windy, so I apologize for that, but here we are in Cornwall. We've just crossed from Devon, just there, over the Tamar Bridge to Cornwall. And as you can see, it's beautiful here. Really, really beautiful. Appreciate you watching anyway. If you've not subscribed to the channel yet, definitely go and hit that subscribe button because I've got more stuff coming out in the next few days. And during these times of isolation, I think it's great that we find alternative things to do. And obviously I'm gonna be doing a few more videos like this where I go and find beautiful places to go and walk near where I live. Obviously stay safe, wash your hands, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, I've got to walk back now.